Adirondack Park is a patchwork of public and private lands located in northeastern New York. The park was established in 1892 to preserve the pristine waters and boreal forests that were under threat from commercial logging in the late 19th century. The Adirondack Park has the highest density of hemlocks of anywhere in New York State. Hemlock, as a foundation species, provides shade for cold water habitats like streams. That's very important for a native brook trout. In addition to providing critical wildlife habitat, hemlock grows on steep slopes, preventing soil erosion. But the eastern hemlock is facing a new threat, an invasive species, the hemlock woolly adelgid. These white woolly masses house hundreds of eggs. With two generations per year, an infestation can be fatal in as little as four years. For the hemlock woolly adelgid, early detection and rapid response is critical. And here in the Adirondack Park, we're dealing with a landscape that's six million acres in size. To put that in perspective, that's larger than five other national parks, including Yosemite, Yellowstone, Glacier, Smoky, and the Grand Canyon. We also know that the hemlock woolly adelgid has spread as far north as Schenectady or Troy, just south of the Adirondack Park. So we have to draw the line and make sure that hemlock woolly adelgid does not spread into the Adirondacks and destroy our hemlock resources. Our team at Goddard Space Flight Center partnered with six organizations, including the Adirondack Park Invasive Plant Program and St. Lawrence Eastern Lake Ontario Program to map existing ranges of eastern hemlock and to forecast the risk of hemlock woolly adelgid infestation for 2025. We used multispectral data from the Landsat 8 satellite and hyperspectral aircraft data from Avaris to map hemlock stands throughout the study area. Remote sensing allowed the team to narrow their analysis to conifer trees and then classify trees at the species level throughout the landscape. Classified maps will provide project partners with a greater understanding of where hemlock resources are in the Adirondacks. Knowing where hemlock stands are located will allow for better resource management to prevent the spread of hemlock woolly adelgid in the region. APIP currently has very limited capacity to perform any type of remote sensing or prioritization at a landscape scale. So NASA's Earth observation data will allow us to identify priority hemlock stands to better direct our limited resources. Mm -hmm.